Hey guys, today is about the letter D. And remember we drew a d dog for D, and so we drew shot or I drew Shiloh. But now I want to draw another one of my doggies. I want to draw Romeo. So, so I remember who I'm drawing. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to put R Romeo. And I hear R, R sound, so I hear R. And then it's O, M, E, O. So I'm going to draw Romeo up here. Go make it a little fancy with a little bitty border. All right, so I got my paper. I got my directions. I got my pencil. And I like the color pencils, so this time I'm going to use the color pencils one more time. And I got, whoop, there goes the camera. And I got my marker. So we got to start and go in order. So number one is we have a circle for the face. And remember, it's kind of pointy at the bottom. So to me, it looks like an egg. So I'm going to start doing the face. And come around. So there's my face. And then number two is we got to separate the eyes from the nose. So we're going to put a line right across there. And then number three is all about the ears. Now Shiloh had ears that flopped around, but Romeo has pointy ears like those. So, and I want him to be even because his ears are just perfect. So I'm gonna put two dots right there. And then I'm gonna do the ears for Romeo. And his are kind of pointy curvy. So there's Romeo's ears. Now for number four, we got to do the body and the tail and the legs. There are two of his legs. And Romeo and Shiloh have just like the same body because they're both chihuahuas. So we're going to start here and do a long body. And Romeo's got a pointy tail. So pointy tail. And then his little booty. And then we're going to come down and do one leg and his tummy, and then his front leg, and then up to do his chest. And then we have to add one, two more legs. So we're gonna add one more front leg. Let's make this one a little bit longer so it matches. And then one back leg. Now for number six, we gotta add the two eyes, the nose, and his mouth. So Romeo's got some pretty big eyes. And then we gotta do his nose and then his mouth with his little cheeks. All right, now I'm gonna take my marker, put my pencil up, take my marker, and I'm gonna start to trace him. So I'm gonna do his head, his egg shaped head. And then I'm gonna do the line across his face. And then his ears that are pointy triangles or curvy triangles. And then his long body with his pointy tail and his little tushy and his legs and then his belly and then his other leg and then his chest. And then we got to do his leg, front leg, and then his back leg. And then we got to do his eyes and his nose and his mouth. Now remember, if you need to, you can always slow down. Now Romeo is kind of a beige color. So let's see, nope, that's a red color. There we go, a light brown, there's Romeo. So I'm gonna color Romeo's ears. Remember, show that kindergarten color in, and his face. And see, I didn't color his nose because his nose is black. And Romeo is one solid color. He's sleeping, so I can't go wake him up. 
color all of Romeo. And lastly, his leg. And I got some white spaces, so I'm going to go fill them in. So I make sure I colored all of Romeo. Now your doggy or your cat might be a different color, so you can color it whatever you want. Or if you don't have an animal, you can always color the detective dog that was in our story. There we go. And then I'm going to take my black. Oh, I just had it. There it is. Let me take my black and do his nose and then I want to write the word dog and since Romeo is a boy dog I'm gonna take blue to write d -d dog we have a d, -d, d o G remember that G has that long hook at the bottom dog and then I had wrote Romeo up here earlier so I'm going to trace that out and need blue also because he's a boy dog and even though I cannot draw and do not have the artistic skills this looks just like Romeo a big head and a long body his pointy tails and his pointy ears I can't wait to see your pictures of your dog or your donut whatever you decide to draw bye guys